So I don't know specifically when the spade arc starts. I do know we're getting close, but I just know for a fact that the ending of this show leading into the movie is some of the hypest Black Clover you guys have said you've seen. I don't know how a show can end hype, but I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episodes 152 and 153. Last episode, we had the goal from Julius to reassure the kingdom that they are protected, they are safe, they are in good hands. And to be honest, in terms of a story aspect, like reasoning to do that, it makes a lot of sense because it's not like we didn't have strong people before. They were just all taken over. Literally 90% of our fucking strong people had their bodies taken over. So the fact that we're able to show them, guys, that's all in the past. We're good. We're strong. I'm excited, especially knowing that we're going to get into some crazy strong people and we still have more training to do. So with that being said, I got to find out what happens, where we're going. I got to hop into this episode. I'm excited to do it. So as I'm sure you guys can see in the background, we got some subscriptions and Twitch chat going on. I am watching these reactions live on Twitch right now. You guys can come over here and watch them live with us. Great community, great vibes. We always talk a little bit of anime beforehand. So come over, twitch.tv slash Darius. Come check it out live. We watch everything over here now. It's going to be a great time. If not, make sure to check out the YouTube video for everything like that. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, check out that Patreon, early access, full length, everything you guys need. Links are going to be down in the description down below, like always for you guys. Make sure to follow the other social medias, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into this. So much support been given. Black Clover, episodes 152 and 153. The first one is called To Tomorrow. Let's do this. That's what I'm waiting on. There's five of them, right? I love this song when they play it. Oh, this brings back memories of seeing that, like, Colosseum. Wait. Are we having another festival or something? Or what's going on? Oh, I love seeing the magic too. God damn, I wish there was magic in this world. Imagine being able to buy fish and bring them home in your own little aquarium. In your hand. That's what I'm saying. Is it another festival or coming to what? It's been a year since the entrance exam? Was that episode three or four? That was the first time we were introduced to Yami. Holy shit, and it's so poetic, we're going back with the Black Bulls, the guys who made it to change our lives for the better, you know? That actually makes sense, actually. It actually makes sense. Similar to My Hero, when a certain very big incident happened to the people they want, you know, let's get our next generation going, let's, you know, bring some positivity, reinvigorate the hope in this world. I remember Noelle too. She was getting absolutely roasted by Nozel. Oh yeah! We could get a new Black Bulls member here! I didn't even think of that! The only reason I say we could get a new member is because I swear I've seen art of some Black Clover with other... I, it might have been one other person in a Black Bulls uniform. I don't know. Oh, speak of the devil. I was just talking about how, how different their relationship was a year ago. Yes, it has. That's the thing about this show. I knew they were going to show the flashback because they're damn near in the same position as well. I still wish Nozel... I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Nozel, but I still wish he could have been a little nicer back then. Yeah, see? We understand now. Oh yeah, I don't think Noelle would have succeeded as well as she did with any other squad. Hells yeah. That's the big thing. Think of everything she's gone through. That's what I'm saying. Shouts out Nazo for sure. Oh, he knows it. 100%. I think Noelle will be... Just like Mother. I think she'll be so damn strong in the future. Oh god, does that bring back memories. Except he didn't have a goddamn flaming arm. <laughs> I remember yeah, it was William. I remember us thinking this. I remember feeling these exact feelings so long ago and now knowing all these characters somewhat intimately. 
such a different vibe, you know? It's fucking hilarious. Oh, with his Briar Tree magic for the brooms, right? World Tree magic. Briar is uh, Charlotte. I remember this was like my first like real taste of what a squad captain's magic could be and the potential to their magical limits. And I was like, I was flabbergasted then. It still is quite shocking now, but now knowing what they could do. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> look how awkward they look on those. I would love to take part in a Magic Knight's entrance exam though, have magic. This would be a dope world to be in. Oh. Seke, god damn it. <laughs> they would fucking take on, let's go. And immediately into our first mission. And then into the attack of the Eye of the Midnight Sun. And then into the whole Nij. And then into Beto. And then into the Witch Forest. All that. And then with, like, come on. This man has not faltered since episode one. Literally episode one. Oh, and we get a little Noel flashback montage too. I remember that. Come on. These are S tier moments right here. Oh my god. No one's gonna tell me Noel is not fucking amazing. This woman is fucking incredible. That's a good way to set it up, Black Clover. Okay, give me a little hype for the future. Okay, I see you. That's the difference between now and then. Our relationship strength and everything has only gone up. Oh man, we haven't seen you know all episode. Doesn't even say a word. Too cool for school. Wait, he was right next to us and we didn't even know? He was like 10 feet next to us. We didn't even see him. You silent stud. That's a pretty good descriptor for you, know The silent stud. He said shrug. He didn't even shrug. He just said shrug. I'm done with this guy. I'm done with this guy. Oh, are we going to show flashback to episode two? Yep. Back when Yuno first got his confidence, spurred on by Asta. It is crazy to think, though, Yuno would not be the person he is today without Asta. Which, when you turn that back around, Asta would not be the person he is today without Yuno. That's the definition of a good rivalry. You make each other better. And you look out for each other. I, I can't argue that. I can't argue that they have one of the best rivalries in all of anime. I can't. I really can't. <laughs> That's it? We didn't get to see anyone? I wanted to see who Black Bulls chose. Maybe we didn't choose anyone. That could, that could be a thing. They did say there were fewer applicants this year. Oh, but... Golden Dawn? Who was it? It has to be a squad where... <laughs> we're, we, we technically are at the bottom. That does make sense. Technically, we're not. Oh no, Zora did join way before us. He just didn't put a shit on until recently. That is true. The magic stone, his necklace. Oh, Rev. Okay, shouts out Revchi. I guess that's not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting him and Gweldry to get thrown right back in prison. I know, right? That's literally what I was saying. I was like, "There's no way. Literally, no way." Oh yeah, William was smart choosing, you know. Four leaf clover, brimming with potential. Good heart. But then again, the Golden Dawn was specifically picked out by Patry, right? To people who would be reincarnated. And you know was. I'm so I'm so curious about that. Tell me why one of my bucket list things in anime life is to try cooking from Charmy. That would be so dope. We're both looking up at the moonlight, both reminiscing on our, on our adventures. That's a thing that always happens in shows. When one character is looking out into the horizon, the character they're thinking about is all also doing that. I'm gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna look out on the horizon. One of y'all better be looking out on the horizon too. Okay, okay. Similar to their fist bump, but you know, I like. Are these gonna be shots of the party that they're doing? I'll watch this. Heck yeah. Look at Langris in the corner. The Golden Dawn look like they can throw a nice little social gathering, you know? Klaus and Mimosa are definitely the life of the party, though. And then look at the difference with us and our squad. Look at this. 
Tell me a party at the Black Bulls hideout would not be the most fun you guys have had in so long. That is a good party. I like that. Good times. That was needed. Especially after, like, it hit you this episode, how long it's been, how great of a journey it's been. All great shows need, like, a reminiscing episode, you know? They really do. It was, it was fantastically done. All right, that was a fantastic recap. Much, much needed. It's time to get into this next episode, episode 153. This one's called The Chosen Ones. Let's do this. <laughs> So I know their goal is to find the five, or not five, but I know their goal is to find as many magic users as close to the arcane stage as they can, because they need special magic in order to eliminate devils, you know? And we know there's five spirit gardens, they can only train a... That's what I'm saying, the arcane stages, so who are we choosing specifically? Yup. That's what I'm curious about. We're choosing our specific people, so I'm so curious who's getting chosen. Benroll, Luck, and Noel. Yeah, Nozel's definitely worried. He didn't like Noel, but Luck. I mean, no Luck is so strong. Oh, Luck and Gaja? Luck and Gaja, and then Undine and Noel. That would be that would be kind of kind of a crazy tag team. Nazo knows why too. Hey Seer, we're gonna avenge you. We're gonna avenge you. Mimosa? You know, right? I know Mimosa is gonna be absolutely essential. Why, you know? I guess so. Damn it. Oh my, Leo with some training? Come on. Hell yeah. That's a big brother's promise right there. He's got faith. Okay. Okay, Jack. I'll take you. You want to come on, Jack? Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Don't tell me Rill is still flabbergasted by a uh, Charmy. That was one of the. That was easily the best charming moment in the whole show, though. I can't lie. The collagen. I remember she was going ham about her food. Yes. Take that. I, I miss my boy Rill. He's one of the goats. I also want to see more of the Aqua Deer as well, though. He doesn't even know her name. So we're going to have the specific few that we know. Go train with the Heart Kingdom. We're going to be following that, but they're going to be training on their own, having their own strength increase, so I like that. It's not as if they're doing nothing. Seke. <laughs> Look at this man's face. He's like, who's that? Trying to like talk talk to him in sign language. Shouts out, Soul. Heck yeah, you were definitely actually very helpful. Three ranks? Ah uh, yeah, touche. Oh that. I like how she's having her own internal resolve as well though. <laughs> He does realize that a good part of it was because of Yami. Second class intermediate, okay. Oh yeah. I mean, William said it himself, healers are definitely the cornerstone of any war, of any battle. You can tell he's a little nervous. <laughs> it was a great moment. It was a great moment. 
Oh, heck yeah. Does he feel undeserving? I think he does. I respect it. That is a valid point. Even though... Even though he did what was right and he did what you're supposed to do, he was powerless. So he doesn't feel like he's earned that yet. So I like it. So I always like this dude. My boy Leopold, the GOAT. <laughs> Bogolian is not having it. No, I get both sides. I get both sides. He definitely deserves the medal, but I like that he doesn't think he deserves the medal. Yeah, you remember how you spurred them to do that? Eat of the moment? They were totally willing to lay down their lives. So instead of declining it, he's just making it his personal vow to live up to actually what he believes it should be. That's why I respect my dude. Seventy-seven? Don't tell me you know got more than the Aqua Deer in totality. And for a peasant? That's the highest you can go, right? That's what I was saying. The highest you can get right under squad captain. God damn, you know? God damn. He said, do not interrupt this moment for me right now. Seke. <sighs> okay. Well, that is your power to do that, King. But since he is now a first class senior magic knight, would he like to come with us on the front lines during the skate the spade kingdom arc? <laughs> He's like having a heart attack. That is hilarious. I mean, they deserve it. If you were participating in this, like, this was a fucking trial, you know? Like, you need some recognition. This was... Yeah, you want to talk about a... A squ... You want to talk about a squad that was essential to this conflict? It was the Black Bulls. It's crazy to think what rank you know is, man. Loki wanted Magna to go, especially after his training, right before the Elf Arc, but he got to show off his training during the Elf Arc, so... And Luck was reincarnated too, so I get why Luck was going. But you can tell Magnus pissed about it. Ah. Come on. Magna needs this. Come on, Magna. Come on, Yami. Let him do it. Find a way. Good. He's like, <laughs> Hinata from IQ. Are you, he needs to make sure his resolve is set in stone and solid. Listen to this music. Got it. <laughs> they also have a great rivalry. Magna and Luck. Hells yeah, it's our squad. Let's do it. This is, a, this is a dubber, you know. But it is very curious what Langris is going to say, because not only is you know the same rank as Langris, he's the hero of the war, whereas Langris was one of the, you know, it's like, would you know become vice captain? Could be a thing, you know? In terms of those episodes, absolutely fantastic. I love the recap type episodes, especially when done well. And any long-running shonen or any long-running show in general needs to 
remind our audience where we started and where we are now. And going back to the entrance exam is a great way to do it. Because not only is it a year, a year anniversary of when we joined, but it is was one of the hardest points in our life and also the start to what has been the most amazing journey with our characters. If we look back at how embarrassing it was for Asta, how horrible her, how horrible Noel and Nozel's relationship was, and then and then you look back at now and you're like, wow, not only was that a fantastic journey, but it was so worth me investing my time into these characters and this journey. And it's a great way of reminding you that, like, hey, you know, you spent 150, you know, cut that in half, 75. You watched 75 hours of Black Clover. You watched. A good you spent a good portion of your life watching the show so it's good that you're invested and you feel like it, it's been it's been a, it's been a good journey you know like it's been fantastic love these episodes i loved seeing william do his typical speech beforehand we believe in you the next generation summoning the brooms everything i want i they said a, we said we almost got a new member but they got swiped i wonder if that's ever going to come back i wonder if we're ever going to see a new member because i swear i've seen an art piece somewhere with another person i'm not going to describe him because maybe i'm wrong maybe it was just like a fan art piece but i saw something with someone else in a black bulls uniform and this fit the bill perfectly as to when we get a new member but i also loved the this episode 153 chosen ones talking about ranking up just we're still in that resolution era after the elf reincarnation arc because of how big of an arc that was and it still feels good it it's good knowing that the people who worked so hard got some recognition for it but we still need to work a lot harder because we still have a lot to do my only question is why you know declined training with the heart kingdom so i'm very curious what's going to happen with that is he going to be training on his own is he going to get stronger i mean we already know he's fucking op so is asta going to catch up to him i have no idea but i'm very excited to find out um, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. If you guys want to watch this live with us, we are on Twitch right now with a whole bunch of people the Dapper Squad watching it live. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access, full length. Links are in the description. Don't forget to drink water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.